Hey, you know, something I want to pass on to everybody. Check, dig this, man. Half, half of this, you know, is perseverance and showing up. Absolutely, man. Do hey, and, be, <laughs> and being a pro. So at the time when I studied with Gary, you got a half hour lesson, right? And then after I graduated, they switched to hour lessons. But dig this. The kid, whoever this kid was uh, 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 before me, you know, like at 10 o'clock, and I had Gary at 10.30, Willis goes, you know, because I show, see, I would show up with coffee for me and a coffee with cream for Gary. I'm going to take care of this guy because I'm going to pick his brain for everything I can for this next year because I paid my money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, 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 and out of respect and admiration for him. And, and, and he's like, hey, this kid shows up and brings me coffee. I love this kid. <laughs> and he comes in and we get to play, you know, and it was great. And so after about three weeks, he goes, hey, man, the kid at 10 o'clock. Half the time just doesn't show up. So show up at 10 o'clock, and if he doesn't show up, you can have his half hour and yours. So you were getting an hour. I was getting an hour. So I was getting an hour there, and then on Wednesdays, he had open counseling, which is just Gary Willis sitting in a room with six chairs and five amps, right? Yeah. And you can go in there and, and just talk about anything, play anything, whatever you want to do, life, music, anything. So here's this treasure, this national, this world-renowned treasure sitting there. And because we didn't have a required class till 1 o'clock, right, on yeah. Wednesdays, yeah. nobody showed up. I bet you did. Except me. <laughs> and and I, I was there at 5 minutes to 10 yeah. with two coffees, one for Gary yeah. with cream, one black for me. And I'd open him up, and we'd sit there, and, I'd, and he and I'd play tunes for two hours. Wow. And and about about noon, <laughs> about noon, other people would show up and they just sit and listen, or they watch. How long did this go on for? How long were we there for doing this? A year. A year, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then and then I would I would go, uh, uh, you know, Ron Estate. See, when I got the six string, one of the first things I did is go up to about the thirteenth fret and on the B string I play a low C and I can reach up here and play a high E flat and go. Hey, that's far enough apart. If I knew what to do in the middle, I could play bass and chords on this sucker, yeah, yeah, and it would yeah, sound yeah. great. I don't know how to do it, but I knew it was doable. Okay, Now, Ron Este is one of the greatest seven-string guitar players ever, period, end of story, and plays great bass. He's got a low A, and he does all this stuff. And I knew he knew how to do that really well. <laughs> and and, and he's, you know, he's the next best thing to Joe Pass, I mean, yeah. ever. I mean, yeah. Or one of them. I mean, there's a bunch of phenomenal cats as we as we all know but so i went to his open counseling no other bass players went and i thought i can sit and play with this cat yeah. and 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 he was thrilled because he didn't have to play bass for all the guitar players sitting in a room yeah oh yeah so, yeah, yeah 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 see i'm smarter than i look <laughs> and, and and so i would come in and and play roots and fifths and walk and play the tunes and i i could hear him doing all the stuff that wasn't in the real book and I'd say, man, what is that that you're doing? And so I showed up with my real book, a pencil, and back then a Sony Walkman, and I had a bag full of tapes. Yeah. And I just recorded all that stuff, and I asked him questions. And he was great because he, sometimes he'd write stuff in my book, and other times he'd go, well, man, you're Mr. Ear Training. Why don't you tell me what that is? Let's play it again. You figure, <laughs> figure it out, man. And he, he worked me, and I was relentless because I just showed up, and I, I literally followed him. I was waiting for him when he came in the building. And I followed him around, and we went to class, and I'd buy him coffee, and we got to be friends. And I, I, just, I was just going to uh, treasure this. And halfway through the year, he called me into uh, uh, the Joe DiOrio office. It's like walking in and seeing the Pope. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I walk in, and, and he says to me, he says, hey, do you think you could play like an F blues? Do you think you could play like a bass line and keep the third and seventh happening? And so we kind of fool around with it, and he said, "All you got to have is that third and seven. That's all I really need, and keep the bass line going." And I said, "Well," and, and then he and then he did this, man. This is funny. We laugh about this to this day. He says, "No, nah, that's probably too hard. You probably couldn't do that, could you?" <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, I'm half Irish, so my Irish is up. So it's like, all right, well, let me see what I can do. He says, well, "Great, I'll see you Monday." So I, I I go away and I I put that together. Yeah. Uh. Do it. Do you want to do it? You? Grab the bass one. If you want to grab the bass, you pull the headphones out. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you, can you hear this? Yeah. Oh, 
So, so I, I'm thinking, all right, I got an F, and I got third, seventh, and third, and I, I'm going, and, and so I know that it just goes, okay, and there's my B flat, so I'm going, uh, and I got to get here. You know, in coordination and seeing more than one note at a time for us bass players is just like dizzying, totally. But it took me a little while, and I kind of went, so I could go root, fifth, root, and I could slide into this. Ooh. <laughs> just playing downbeats. Yeah. Just one to four. Now I got to go, uh, oh, I got to, how, how do I play C minor? Oh, crap. Where's that? How do you play that? And then it's like, you know, I put it together so pretty, you know, in, in three months I'm playing. It's like, oh, man. So all of a sudden, I got to working real hard on that. He's real happy, and he went around and went, good boy, good boy, good boy. 